Ladies and gentlemen, it is I, Zubario the Mass Gamer, again with a new video for the first time in months. Now, we do not know why do we have to succumb to this, but it's content, so here's an unboxing video. But we're not gonna unbox anything. We're gonna unbox WWE 2K17 NXT Edition. Oh wow, this looks nice. This looks pretty nice. I just don't get one thing. The previous special editions had like Hulk Hogan, and Stone Cold, and Undertaker. This one's all about NXT. If you don't know what NXT is, it's the developmental brand. It's funny that, that it has its own special edition. All right, let's, let's get to it. Let's open it up. See what's inside this thing. First, you got the most important thing that is the actual game. 2K17's got it's got Brock Lesnar, it's got Goldberg, it's got new favorites such as Bailey, AJ Styles, Shinsuke Nakamura, and then you have um, the DLC packs. Look, you got the Goldberg DLC and you got the NXT. Um, the NXT pack, which got you, you know, Shinsuke Nakamura, Nia Jax, and Apollo Crews. Okay, that's cool. DLC packs, DLC packs. Um, that's the cool. What's it got? What's it there as well? Here we have an autographed picture of the King of Strong Style, Shinsuke Nakamura. Now this, this looks beautiful. I'd love to actually hang this on my wall. Look at it. Look at it. It's pretty. Pretty, pretty fucking cool. It's pretty awesome. Good stuff, good stuff. Then we have, last but not least, this beautiful figure of the Demon King, Finn Balor, which was, for a while, the franchise of NXT, the main star of the NXT show. And... Oh wow, this is actually a pretty good figure, pretty good statue. Look at it, you can you can see. It's pretty good. Oh wow. Pretty nice, it even has its own base and everything. Damn, it's actually pretty cool. And remember, all, the, all of these stuff are like, are just exclusive to the special edition, so you won't really be getting them anywhere else. Except maybe the DLC. I'm pretty sure the DLC is going to be in the store in a few months. But, yeah, I mean, cool cool shit. Cool shit. Shinsuke Nakamura's autograph. Even though the previous versions had Hulk Hogan, Undertaker, and Stone Cold Steve Austin's autograph. It's still kind of cool. I mean, the picture is really cool. Look at it. Pretty, pretty awesome. Yeah. You got the game, which, well... It seems like it's gonna be a fun game. It's got a lot of new characters. It's got, it's got like all a lot, a lot of new guys all of a sudden like put in. It even got a, it's even got Ty Dillinger, Perfect Ten. It's got um, it's got, it's got, it's got so many characters. I can't even list them all right now. But it's, I haven't tried the game yet. You can tell it's still sealed. But I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure it's a good game. I'm pretty sure. I mean, all 2K games were good, except 2K15. 2K15 was utter shit. Oh, I forgot to mention one thing. Each NXT edition comes with a collectible card, which features a piece of the mat used in NXT TakeOver London. That is pretty nice. Except the fact that TakeOver London is nothing compared to TakeOver Dallas, which was the superior pay-per-view. And also, the pay-per-view where Shinsuke Nakamura made his grand debut. What the hell? Why did you guys use that pay-per-view? Oh well, look at Samoa Joe. He looks so f***ing pissed. Do you know why Samoa Joe looks so f***ing pissed? Look at him. He's so f***ing pissed.